Death's Acre, Inside the Legendary Forensic Lab The Body Farm Where the Dead Do Tell Tales, by William M. Bass is a riveting exploration of the pioneering field of forensic anthropology. Through meticulous research and vivid storytelling, Bass takes readers on a journey into the heart of the body farm, a groundbreaking facility that has revolutionized the study of human decomposition and advanced the capabilities of forensic science. Set against the backdrop of the University of Tennessee, Death's Acre delves into the life and work of Dr. Bill Bass, a brilliant forensic anthropologist who established the body farm. The book begins by tracing Bass's early fascination with skeletal remains and his determination to develop a systematic approach to understanding the decomposition process. This journey of scientific curiosity is intertwined with personal anecdotes, giving readers a sense of Bass's passion and dedication. The narrative unfolds with an intricate blend of case studies, historical context, and scientific explanations. Bass skillfully walks the reader through various stages of decomposition, illustrating how factors such as weather, insect activity, and the presence of scavengers can significantly impact the state of a corpse. These insights are brought to life through real-life scenarios, highlighting the importance of accurately estimating time of death in criminal investigations. Bass's prose is both informative and engaging, catering to a wide range of readers. He takes complex scientific concepts and presents them in a digestible manner without sacrificing depth. Through meticulous details and vivid descriptions, he paints a vivid picture of the body farm's outdoor laboratories, where donated bodies are meticulously observed as they undergo decomposition in various conditions. This approach not only educates but also captivates, making the book accessible to both scientific enthusiasts and general readers. One of the book's strengths lies in its portrayal of the ethical dilemmas associated with the study of human remains. Bass grapples with questions surrounding consent, privacy, and the emotional toll that working with the dead can take on researchers. He addresses these issues thoughtfully, acknowledging the delicate balance between scientific advancement and respecting the dignity of the deceased. As the narrative progresses, the reader gains insights into the collaborative nature of forensic work. Bass highlights the interdisciplinary efforts that characterize the field, emphasizing the importance of cooperation between forensic experts, law enforcement, and legal professionals. This holistic approach is underscored by the book's underlying message, every body tells a story, and it takes a collective effort to decipher its narrative. Throughout the book, Bass interweaves historical anecdotes and pivotal moments in forensic science's evolution. From the identification of historical figures to the application of forensic techniques in solving modern crimes, these stories illustrate the profound impact of forensic anthropology on the justice system. Bass's narrative style allows readers to see the progression of the field, demonstrating how early breakthroughs paved the way for today's advanced investigative methods. In conclusion, Death's Acre, by William M. Bass is a masterful blend of scientific exploration, personal narrative, and ethical contemplation. Through the lens of the body farm, readers are invited to delve into the intricate world of forensic anthropology, gaining an appreciation for the meticulous research and collaborative efforts that underpin its progress. Bass's ability to convey complex information with clarity and his talent for storytelling make this book a compelling read that offers both educational value and captivating storytelling.